Hey, in today's video, it's gonna be great. We're gonna be planting sugar cane, but we're gonna plant sugar cane in containers. And I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to do. Let's go. All right, all I'm gonna do is take my loppers. I'm gonna go down low to the base and timber it down. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this one too. This is my green cane. cane. I haven't tried this before, so that should be pretty sweet to taste. All right, so that's some of the cane that we're going to be using. I already uh, got some cane, but it's a different color. All right, now this is some of the cane that I will be uh, planting today. Now, this is uh, two different varieties. I don't know the name of them, but at the end of the video, if you stick around, I will do a, a test tasting sample and see if which ones are sweeter. If it's going to be the uh, burgundy color or the uh, green. All right, I never had the green, so we shall see. Now, you, when you get your container, you know you gotta put drainage holes in the uh, bottom, so I'm gonna go ahead and handle that right now. As you can see, I just put as many holes as I wanted to, so I just had fun with it. Now, I'm thinking that if some of the uh, roots go that far, they can go to the uh, soil in the ground, but uh, I am gonna put a couple on the side, so I do that and I get right back with you. All right, so there are my holes on the side, bring you in close. Now you may not need to do that, but why not? I got a drill, I felt like drilling. All right, so let's go. Now my containers, I'm going to uh, use black cow. I like using black cow. You don't have to use that. Get any compost that you like. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that in. And I'm also gonna put some leaf mold in it as well. So let me grab my leaf mold. This leaf mold is some good stuff. Soon as those leaves fall, I'm going to uh, be uh, making me some more. This container is gonna be nice and rich with uh, good nutrients for the uh, sugar cane. I'm gonna be dumping the rest of that in here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of my uh, black cow after I mix this in before we go to the next step. Now, if Black Cal is watching, if they want to uh, partner, I'm all down for that. Because as much as I use the uh, Black Cal, it's some real good stuff. And I'm here, I am wasting it. All right, let me get all of it back in here. This is a good time for people down south to go ahead and uh, plant their sugar cane for the uh, following season. So make sure you are aware of your area, your grow zone and so that you'll know when to uh, plant your sugar cane. Cause this is not gonna uh, grow during the winter time, but I'm, uh, that's why I'm gonna go four inches deep. Now, so if you see this little uh, joint right here, that node, this is where the sugar cane is coming from right here. So I'm gonna cut in between the uh, cane right here. Yeah, I know I, I wanna eat the cane, but I gotta make some more cane for next year. And so this is one that I'm gonna put in here as well. I've already, we've already chewed some of the cane but I want it to be a little bit longer than that, but I'm still gonna try to see if I can get another cane from that, from that uh, eye right there, that node. So let's go ahead and get the cut. All right, so that piece, I already got a nice root right there. That's gonna work for us. So we're gonna cut some more and then I'm gonna get the uh, other variety of the cane right here. All right, so it's gonna be a great experiment, but I know it's gonna work because I've already seen it on YouTube. All right, let's get one more piece from this cane. All right, so now we're going to the cane that I haven't tasted yet. It looks sweet, what you think? Yep. So I'm gonna I'm try to pile a lot of cane in this area. And one other thing, if you already got a big size uh, container, you may wanna go ahead and put it in the place that you're going to uh, leave it to grow because it's gonna be kinda hard to move it depending on what size uh, container you have. 
Now I'm still going to plant some more in my food forest because I like that as well. But I wanted to try this also. All right, so we're gonna make our trench going four inches deep. I don't want to uh, plant it too deep, but I don't want it to be so shallow that we get some warm days and then it comes up. All right, let's put this cane down in here, make that trench. And then in the springtime, summertime, we should have that cane coming up. All right, so let me go ahead and cover it back up. That's all we gonna do. Pour the rest of the soil back over it. All right, let's smooth that out. Let me go ahead and dig my trench for the next spot. All right, so we're just gonna put the cane in like we just did, and I'm gonna find the uh, node right here so I can stick it, have that sticking straight up. But if you got one this long, you may have one on the opposite side as well, but it, should, it still should work. All right, so once again, I got the node all the way up, make it easier to come up. Let's just cover it back up. All right, so I'm going to repeat the process for these two, and then I'll get right back with you. Now that is it. You really don't need to uh, add fertilizer, but I'm going to go ahead and add fertilizer because it's going to uh, break down over time. And I want to make sure since I'm in a container, I'm getting some uh, nice growth once they start producing and breaking through when it warms up. So you don't need to do this, but I'm just going to um, put this down. And I'm using a uh, blood meal. I only had a little bit, so I'm going to uh, mix in my tomato and veg as well. So I'm going to slide this over the top. And if you want to mulch the uh, top area, you can. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, mulch over the top after I put this uh, fertilizer down and mix it in. And then we should be good to go. And then we can go ahead and taste that cane and see if there's any uh, difference in the uh, taste. Now this right here is like a mulch because it's supposed to be topsoil, but it actually looks like broken down wood chips. And I never really used it except for my citrus. So I'm going to use that for the mulch. A little layer over top. And I'll water it in a little later, but that's good to go right there. All right, so I just got back from washing my hands and getting my cutting board and knife. All right, so here's the uh, green cane and all that juice. I can't wait to taste that. It's coming out of it. And here's the uh, reddish kind right here. So I already had this a lot. Let's go ahead and cut and see if there's a difference. All right, so I like to cut it straight down like this so I don't chop my fingers or cut my fingers. All right. I can't wait. So that's the green. Let me go ahead and chop the uh, reddish kind. All right, so this is the uh, green cane right here. Mm. I can already tell you that's sweeter. Green to me tastes sweet, sweeter. Mm. Mm -hmm. Make sure I plant more of that. I mean, this is good too, but when you compare the two, I can taste the difference. Once again, that green cane is on point. It is so sweet. It makes the other one taste like it's less sweet. All right, so you have got to get your hands on it. I don't know the name of the green of that green cane all i can tell you is this green cane so that's my name that i'm giving it but it's outstanding so just remember you can plant it the same way in the ground if you want to but if you don't have a, back, a backyard or you have a patio this will be a way that you can grow your cane as well so until then i see you in the next video which is over there so you can i'll see you in that video all right bye